the inner city wastelands of South London, home of heavy metal. I'm standing here in the heart of Clapham, South London. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. For school kids, the end of another day. But for girls' school, it's only just begun. Wakey, wakey, it's gone three. Come on, you two, wake up. Outside girls' school's favourite breakfast eatery, the Golden Arrow. Let's go in and find out what a typical heavy metal breakfast is and get some info from the band as to how girls' school started. Come on. Come on, dogs. Come on. In you go. Oh, Hi. I don't know, Hello. Oh. Mind if I no, no. Do you want a beer? Uh, no. I'm I'm sure. Beer. Okay. Could you, uh, could you tell me something about how girls' school started? Um, yeah, it was about five years ago, and um, the old bass player and I used to live down the same street together. And we were really bored, you know, there wasn't really much to do. And so we decided to form a band. So she said, oh, I'll play bass, you play guitar. I said, OK. And that was that. And then we started meeting other people who were interested in uh, playing, learning to play. And then what happened after that? I was the next in... Um, which was a very complicated story, but I joined through an ex-drummer they had. Then we got Denise in, and we finalised that line-up with Enid, the old bass player, in 78. Yeah. And then what happened after that? Well, we carried on like that up until about 18 months ago, yeah. and Enid left and we got Gillian. Oh, but, I mean, we just literally, like, gigs everywhere we could, you know, any sort of flea pit in the country and Europe, yeah. anywhere. <laughs> what were you doing before? Uh, well, if I wasn't with them, I'd still be with art. In art all papers now. <laughs> I'm to explain what, what? Art all papers is. <laughs> but there was a few bands before oh, this, anyway. Nothing. But nothing special. Do you think it makes any difference, the fact that you're all girls in a predominantly male business? Really? Not to us, no. We haven't come up against any... Um, Crothers. <laughs> I don't know, any sort of direct... <laughs> strangeness from any guys in the business if anything it helped us along the way because we were special at that time in the oh, early yes. days so it's in fact made it a bit easier for you to become better known yeah. yeah what do you think you'd be doing now if you weren't in girls schools 
Right. On the doll. Yeah. We probably would have followed through with something else. Like, I don't know, perhaps. I don't know, art students or something really boring like that. <laughs> <laughs> but not me. <laughs> 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 I'd just be in another band, probably. Is that the same for you, girl? Yes. I'm it's stuck with them now. Drinking the same. And feeling the at this time in the morning as well, because it is first thing in the morning, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and she was a ballet dancer, weren't you? Teacher. Teacher, that's what mm. You were a teacher before? Well, sort of, yes, I was qualified. Can you imagine that? I can't. I couldn't go with the tiny Does this happen very often? Yeah! Come on, you lot, let's go. Oh, go on. Okay, come on. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.